Now, let's say you have a custom UI or maybe a game object, which you use a lot. Instead of just dragging and dropping it in your scene like this, let's make a simple script after which you can just right click on your hierarchy and add a custom button somewhere that will help you basically spawn a game object like this. You can also do it with your UI as well. So let me just show you that. First of all, let me just delete this and right click. I have it in UI prefab and like this. So in this video, we are going to do that. So hey, this is Chrono AB and this is a small trick I learned that helped make game dev easy. If you have any trick that helped you, then share it in the comment section down below. Now here is what you need to do. Now, first of all, let's make a folder called resources and drag and drop your files that you want to spawn in that folder. So for that, I'll make a, another folder called prefab. Prefab and inside this, I'm going to write another folder called environment. I'll drag and drop my player inside that. And inside the prefab, I'll make another folder called UI. And I will drag and drop my health bar in that UI. Now, after that, in these resources, let's make a script uh, in a folder called editor script and I'm going to call this script an importer I -M -P -O -R -T -E -R. so let's open it up in Visual Studio now first of all let me just remove this because we don't need it and these two as well we don't need it after that first of all we need a namespace called using unity editor and here let's make a function that will spawn our player so public static void and let's say spawn player and now before this up here we need to write in a big bracket write menu item and inside we need a string called game object slash 2d object slash prefab slash player now let's hit save and what this will do is it will make a prefab and player button inside our 2d object so let's test that out let it load i don't need this anymore so let me just remove this right click 2d object prefab and you can see player which is awesome so let's do the same for our ui as well for now so make a duplicate of this basically i'm going to change it to spawn health bar or circular health bar and here instead of 2d object i'm going to write ui and prefab will be the same and here i'll write health bars because I may add more than one health bar and slash, I'm going to write circular health bar. Let's hit save. Let's test this out as well. Right click UI and I'll go to prefab health bar and circular health bar. Right now, if you click on it, nothing happens because we have nothing in this function. So let's make it spawn a certain game object. For that, I need to write instantiate. And here you'll write a resource resources dot load load and it will load a game object and here we'll give the location of that game object now what this line of code will do is it will search for every folder named resources and search for a game object we'll give it a location so that's why you need to put it inside a folder called resources you may have more than one resource folder it's according to you Right? You may have more than one type of thing. This is only for health bar. You can download it from my itch.io. The finished product will be in itch.io. So make a folder called resources. Please write the proper name. Otherwise, it will not find it. So after doing that, resources. Now, we need to know where the game object is. Right? It is inside prefab, inside resources, and environment. And it's called player. So I need to write exactly that. So it's in prefab inside environment and slash it is called player so let's hit save go back to unity let's see if it works or not 2d prefab player and when i click on it it finds the player and adds it in our scene as you can see let's do it one more time as you can see it works now let's do the same here as well so for that i'm just gonna copy this and then paste it here now it needs to find a resource i made a mistake there so it needs to find 
it is still in prefab but that object is in ui and it is called basically we need to write the exact name so let's go here i'm just going to copy it from here circular health bar so control c and control v so it will find the circular health bar and spawn it in here so let me write the ui prefab health bar and circular health bar now it did spawn the circular health bar but if you realize something if i go there you don't see the circular health bar now the reason why is that it needs to be inside the canvas but if i even do something like this so click on canvas right click can ui prefab uh, and circular health bar it will still not make it a child so let's make it a child of our canvas now how you can do that is by writing here game object obj is equal to and instantiate our ui right after that object dot transform dot parent set parent will be our the game object that we select that means selection dot active game object and dot transform so now after doing this what will happen is basically if i go back here click here right click then go to ui and if i go to my health bar it spawns a health bar but as you can see it was it did not spawn it here we need it to spawn it here and we need it to be uh within the range of this yeah it's way bigger than it should be so let's solve that as well that's the last thing we need to solve and for that we need to write comma and now there will be a world position state if it is true then the parents relative position scale and rotation are modified such that object keeps the same world position rotation and scale meaning what will happen is everything else will change according to this guy the parent will change according to this guy we don't want that we want the opposite to happen we want this guy to change according to the parent so for that i should not write true i should write false once i do this let's go back uh, let me just remove this right click ui and let's just spawn that and as you can see it is the perfect size that we want which is awesome so that was a small trick you can use to spawn your custom prefab in the hierarchy did you know about this did it help you will you use something like this and do you have any small tricks that help you make game dev much easier share it in the comment section down below and with that said, this is Chrono AB. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.